Welcome to 5.11's Math Moment. Today, students examined motion at a constant speed. So there's a couple different tables to look at, and we're trying to figure out which student is walking at a constant rate. Explain how you know. So when we look at student A, we have seconds elapsed and then the feet walked. We have 0, 0, 1, 5, and 5 tenths, 2, 11, 3, 16, and 5 tenths, and then 4 and 22. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, I need to see if it's at a constant rate. So a constant rate means it's going to increase at the same amount. When I look at this, I have 0, 0, okay, that's going to be the same, and then I have 1 to 5.5, which I know is times 5.5, okay? So I need to think about this one. If I take 2 times 5.5, will I get 11? Well, if I take 5 and 5 tenths times 2, I have 5 times 5, or 5 times 2 is 10, excuse me, and then I've got... 5 times 2 is 10, another 11. So then I have to move that over one hop with my decimal, and then I can see that it is 11. So this one looks like it's increasing at a constant rate. I'm going to go ahead and go over this one and see if it does look like it's increasing at a constant rate, if I need to continue checking, or if this one obviously is not. All right, so we've got our 0, 0. We have our 1 and 3. Okay, so that could be a times 3 or plus 3. Then I've got 2 to 7. Well, this is going to be a times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. This isn't looking like it's look, looking like it's a times 3. Even if I would do an addition with this, I would get 5. So this is not increasing at a constant rate. So this one, student A, is walking at a constant rate by looking at the tables. The second part of this question today, students were asked to look at the student who is walking the constant rate, which we know is student A, and write an equation relating the number of feet uh, walked D to the number of seconds elapsed, elapsed T. So we're going to take our 5.5, which is from our table up above, times our time, which is T, is going to give us our distance, which is how far they have walked. If you have any questions about today's lesson, make sure you see your math teacher.